He's already there. Say it with me. He's already there. The famine in Egypt and Joseph's brothers were starving. They had sold their brother into slavery and they ran out of food. And Papa Jacob said, it's time to find food. I heard a rumor there might be food in Egypt. Boys, I want you to go to Egypt and get some food. Just a rumor. Behind them, as they began walking to Egypt, there was famine like nobody had ever seen. I mean, they were hungry. And as they're walking, they saw, began to see the signs of plenty because of the Nile River. Famine never really hit hard in Egypt like it did other places. But these were wicked men. These are the kind of men who sold their brother into slavery rather than kill him and then went home, lied to their father, dipped his coat in blood and said, well, he died. I mean, that's a level of darkness that is very, very, very unsettling. And as they were talking in Genesis 42 and 21, they started saying, you know what? All this trouble in our lives happened when we did what we did to Joseph. It all started with Joseph. These 10 men had shown so little mercy. They had ignored the cries of their own brother when he was in a well like in a hole in the ground. They, they ignored the cries of their own brother. They even shut off their hearts to their father as he grieved, and as they watched him grieve for years, they never tried to change what they had done. That's, that's bad. That's evil, honestly. And they just kept quiet. So they made their way to Egypt. They got to the governor's house. We know when we read the story, it's Joseph, their brother, who God preserved, who God was using to save food, to keep them from dying from famine. We know that, but they didn't know that. And they rolled up in the governor's house and it's angry Joseph. And Exodus 1 and 1 says this, Now these are the names of the children of Israel which came to Egypt. Every man in his household came with Jacob. These are all the brothers that sold him out. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls. This is my thing. This is where we're looking at. This is what I want you to know about God. God always has a plan. God's always working in the future, even though you're completely bound to the present. Even though you're hungry in your future, God has been working for years to help you. Because as they think they may be starving, Joseph, their brother, was already in Egypt. That's how God always works. You show up confused, battered by life and hungry, and God's like, oh, I've been planning for you. And when Joseph tried, when Joseph tried to give them context for everything they had seen and experienced, he said, look, you meant all this for evil, but God had a plan, and he's working it for good. And it's to save many people. He told them in Genesis 45, look, God sent me on ahead. You thought you were doing it, but God was doing it. God was working things, positioning things, organizing people, situations, and circumstances so that when they got there, his presence through Joseph was already there. 